Hey guys, welcome to day 20 of 21 Days of Prayer. And, uh, and today I want to talk to you about a great principle that I want you to hang on to uh, for God to be able to work through you in a beautiful way today. And I want you to remember this phrase and it's called divine appointment. Ask God for divine appointments. What is a divine appointment? Well, it's kind of an interruption to the normal flow of your day or even an interruption to your plans so that God can do something extraordinary in the life of somebody whose path he's been engineering and orchestrating to cross with yours. So sometimes uh, a divine appointment is you see somebody um, as you're going through a parking lot and you just feel this something inside of you nudging you to speak with them, to help them, um, to just share some, uh, God's love with them, to hand them a card, to invite them to church. A, a, a divine appointment can be someone coming up to you at work while you're busy and they just begin to open up their heart and pour out something that they're going through. And that's a divine appointment. Sometimes a divine appointment is you go to lunch and you see the server and you can tell that they're having a really bad day and, and you just feel like I'm supposed to encourage that person. Those are all divine appointments. And I want you to learn something that we call the one day principle and it's based on a story that happens in uh, the account of the book of Acts which is the actions and the activities of the early church and in Acts chapter 3 uh, Luke records what happened and it says Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the three o'clock prayer service as they approached the temple a man lame from birth was carried in. Each day he was put beside the temple gate, the one called the beautiful gate, so he could beg from people going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Peter and John looked at him intently and Peter said, look at us. He said the lame man looked at them eagerly expecting some money and Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, get up and walk. Then Peter took the lame man by the right hand and helped him up. And as he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. Why do I say that? Because it says that the man was brought to the temple every day. It was for him like every other day. But what he didn't know, it was gonna be his one day. The one day when he would be able to receive ministry and have an encounter with God because of followers of Jesus Christ. It's the same way for you. When you begin to pray for a divine appointment, the one day principle is this. For someone, they're just gonna be going through another day. For them, they're doing what they've done. They're stuck in a pattern. What they don't know is this is actually their one day. The one day when their life will change forever. And the reason their life is going to change forever is because somebody said, God, open up my eyes to divine appointments that you're setting up. Give me the eyes to see those opportunities. And when you do that, what's going to be just every day and another day for someone else is actually going to turn out to be their one day. The one day principle is what we use on our weekend services. And our weekend services, we know for some people, they're just going to come to church because it's what they do. For them, it's just another Sunday. But we know that it's not just another Sunday. For someone, it's going to be their one day when they encounter God through something that happens at one of our services that is going to change their life forever. And so we serve everybody knowing that, hey, this next person that I'm going to greet, this next person that I'm going to say hi to, this might be their one day. I want to be the one to pray. God, open up my eyes to the divine appointments that you're bringing my way so that I don't miss their one day. I want to be a part of it. And so wherever you are, when you go to work, whether you go to school, whether you're just in the, uh, you know, in the habit of, of, of going to work out every day, whatever it is, and maybe it's even when you're serving in one of our services, I want to challenge you. Say, God, open up my eyes to divine appointments. Today, though it's, for somebody, it seems like another day. For someone, it's going to be their one day. And I want to make sure that I'm there to be a part of it. So let me pray with you. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for your creativity and the way you orchestrate circumstances. Thank you, God, that you are the one who takes somebody's every day and changes it into their one day, the one day where their life is changed forever. God, we don't want to miss it. And so, God, we pray for divine appointments. Give us a spiritual sensitivity to what people are going through around us. Help us to be sensitive, God, to those opportunities that you're just creating, those interruptions that seem so inconvenient at the time. But because of the fact that we're asking for divine appointments, it's not so inconvenient that it keeps us from letting it be somebody's one day. Lord, thank you so much for your faithfulness. Thank you for your creativity. Thank you, God, for teaching us how to walk with you through prayer. And we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us for day 20. Tomorrow we're going to wrap up the 21 days of prayer. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll see you then.